Bungie's highly anticipated shooter Destiny 2 is finally here, and we'll have continuing coverage in the days and weeks ahead. For now, we're collecting all the big details to know about, including our review in progress, recent news stories, and other key particulars. You can keep checking back with this story as we learn more about the shooter. Editor Callie Plagg shared her thoughts on the first 20 hours and came away feeling generally impressed and eager to keep playing. She has now started over with the game having launched and will document her progress in a Destiny 2 review diary now updated for the final time over the next few days as she plays more. You can look for Callie's full review in the days ahead. Destiny 2 review we haven't finished the main story yet but so far it's a clear improvement over Destiny's much maligned storytelling, Callie said. Like the beta, Destiny 2 begins with an attack on the Tower by Cabal faction called the Red Legion. But rather than being thrust into situations with little to no context, as was so often the case in Destiny, each mission of the Red War arc has objectives that make sense within both the mission itself and the grand scheme. Locating a missing Cade 6, for example, is important to the fight against the Red Legion, since HE is a powerful hunter. But fighting waves of Vex to get to him also makes sense, as H.E. is trapped in a Vex teleporter, and that small bit of context makes that moment feel distinct from others where you're killing the same enemies. Destiny 2 Review in Progress Destiny 2 Review Diary September 12th Update For more on the initial critical reaction, check out our roundup of Destiny 2 Reviews in Progress. Guides and tips for Destiny veterans, a lot has changed in Destiny 2, while the game will also see many newcomers to the series. Whichever boat you fall in, we'll have plenty of guides to help you succeed in the days and weeks ahead. Starting out in-depth guides and tips, class guides is XUR in Destiny 2 yes, the mysterious figure is back as a limited time, weekly merchant who will sell you a rotating selection of exotic items. While that basic conceit is the same as in the first game, there have actually been some major changes to the way he operates and where HES found. What systems is it available on? Unlike the first Destiny, Destiny 2 is available only for new generation consoles, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. It's also coming to PC, but not until October 24th. Returning players will get rewards and a nice little memorial. What versions are available? Destiny is available in Standard, Digital Deluxe, and a Game Expansion Pass Bundle. The Digital Deluxe Edition comes with a legendary emote and the Cabal Empire-themed emblem. It also includes the Expansion Pass which comes with two expansions to be released later. The Game Expansion Pass Bundle is pretty self-explanatory. Here are the price of standard $60, £55, $100 or game expansion pass bundle $90, £80, $140 or digital deluxe $100, £90, $150. Our people who pre-ordered Destiny 2 will receive the Cold Heart Exotic Rifle, the Kill Tracker Ghost, and the Salute Mode. File size according to Destiny 2's store pages, the game weighs in at 30.9 GB on PS4 and 34.98 GB on Xbox One. The PC version's file size may end up being larger, but we don't know yet. What is an ISNT available in Destiny 2 now? While Destiny 2's first raid, trials, guided games, and in-game clan features are not available, you can play the full campaign and the Crucible multiplayer mode. Additionally, Destiny 2's first Nightfall Strike is available now. The raid kicks off at 10 a.m. Pacific Time 1 p.m. Eastern Time 6 p.m. British Summer Time on September 13, 3 a.m. AET on September 14 in Australia. Trials will become available at the same time on September 15, 16 in Australia. The in-game clan features will go live in the next several days, Bungie said, but for now you can access clan management systems through Bungie's website. Full details The farm holds a really cool secret if you're willing to take a break from leveling up. The farm social space holds an intriguing secret that you might have overlooked. More details and mild spoilers Hurry had to kill those annoying phalanx enemies and the original Destiny, defeating phalanxes usually involved either chucking a grenade behind them, or shooting the tiny bit of arm visible sticking outside the shields. In Destiny 2, they've been granted a brand new weak spot, smack in the middle of those shields. Ping the glowing spot with a few shots and the shields retract, stunning the jerks in the process. 
Lots more details her known issues, technical problems, and server queues Destiny 2's release is poised to be massive, likely straining the game's servers. To allow for a better experience, Bungie is using a system MMO players are familiar with server queues. Bungie has warned that players may not be able to immediately access the game. In order to regulate player population to provide stable conditions for Destiny gameplay, server queues can pop up in Destiny 2 just as they could in the previous game. In other words, you may have to wait in line before you can play. Additionally, there are a number of issues to be aware of. Full detail see the first live campaign gameplay 5 biggest changes in Destiny 2 launch is just the start One of the shortcomings of Destiny 1 was that content was not released fast enough to meet players' expectations. For the sequel, Bungie is working with outside studios like High Moon and Vicarious Visions to create and release content faster. We know there are two paid expansions coming, and recently, a leak suggested the first expansion is called The Curse of Osiris and will be out in December. It'll supposedly add a patrol zone on Mercury, a social space, and a storyline centered around Osiris. Keep checking back with GameSpot in the days and weeks ahead for lots more on Destiny 2.